The idea of an EU army is a dangerous fantasy. That is what the people of Britain were told less than two years ago by former Deputy Prime Minister Nick Clegg. Well, today, that dangerous fantasy has become a dangerous reality. After years of politicians saying there is no threat of an EU military force and no plans for Brussels to take over our troops, we now know of the EU secret plans. Germany, the most powerful country in the EU, has been caught pushing for our armed forces to be controlled by Eurocrats, rather than by our own UK elected government. This is sickening, especially when you consider this information was to be kept a secret until after the referendum on 23rd of June. But thanks to the publication of this document, we now have undisputable proof that an EU army is in the pipeline. The creation of an EU army is an issue UKIP and myself have been highlighting for many years. In that time, we have been shouted down, called names and told that we were wrong. But the simple fact is, the EU's true intentions have been quite obvious for a long time, especially when you consider that the EU has had its own command structure, intelligence gathering organisations, military airlift capacity and battle groups for a number of years. The EU has long been after the UK's seat on the UN Security Council, but now we know for sure it's also after our soldiers, sailors and airmen. The first priority of any government is to provide security to the people. This Conservative government has essentially admitted failure when it comes to protecting our borders. Now they are trying to hide the truth with regard to giving away our proud armed forces to unelected bureaucrats.